Hello, I'm Pastor Fred Finley. Got a question for you. How would you like to be a part of something that is bigger than you are and something that will last longer than you will last and something that will bring an eternal weight of reward? And that is what you do for Christian television. And what you do in this life for God will last throughout eternity. One of the prophets of old said, God has got a book of memories. So everything you do for the kingdom of God will be remembered for eternity. So many people go through this life without the privilege of being part of the work of God. Here at WLJC, you have that privilege of being a part in giving and in prayer and being a part of our phone answers upstairs and all the ministry that's going on. What a privilege it is to be a part of something that's still going on even when your days end. So remember, WLJC, in the time of prayer and in the time of giving, and just remember, God loves you, and we do too. God bless you. Good evening and welcome to the service tonight. We're starting a new week and uh, we just trust that you'll make plans to be with us every night. We know many of you are uh, faithful viewers and you, you let us know that, that uh, you watch every night. And we appreciate that because we need an audience. It would, it would not do us any good to be here if we didn't have somebody to watch. So. Appreciate you joining us each night at 7 o'clock, so stay, stay with us. We have a lot of singing tonight, and uh, phone operators, we have two ministers up there tonight, so uh, if you need uh, something in the spiritual line, be sure and call them, and they'll pray with you and talk to you. All right, we want to share some scripture as, as you make yourself comfortable, and just stay with us now, because uh, get everything else off your mind. Let's just think about the Lord for this one hour and a half because, uh, you know, without Him, that you know that song that says, without Him we could do nothing. Without Him we would not even have any breath. Our breath is in His hands. And so tonight let's just concentrate on Him and, and uh, how merciful He is. Tonight we want to read from Luke, the ninth chapter, starting with the tenth verse. And the apostles, when they were, had, were returned, told him all that they had done. And he took them and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the people, when they knew it, followed him. And he received them and spake unto them of the kingdom of God and healed them that were in need of healing. And when the day began to wear away, then came the twelve and said unto him, Send this multitude away, that they may go into the towns and country round about and lodge and get victuals, for uh, we are here in a desert place. And Jesus said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish except that we should go and buy meat for all this people? For they were about 5,000 men. And he said to his disciple, Make them sit down by fifties in a company. And they did so and uh, made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them and brake and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. And they did eat, and were all filled, and there was taken up of fragments that remained to uh, them twelve baskets. 
So Jesus fed the 5,000 with two fish and um, uh, two fish and five loaves. Now, um, their loaves is not like our loaves of bread. They was more like biscuits, you know, like our our country biscuits would be. So, um, but you you see, there, there's so many things there. I would have loved to have been there to see all that, wouldn't you? To how that Jesus could took such a small amount and fed 5,000 people. I, my, I don't know um, how much food that would have taken. 5,000 people? You know, you get a uh, hundred or two in a room and and prepare for them. That cost a lot of money and time to prepare for them. But because Jesus touched those, uh, what they had and blessed it, and then they were all filled and had 12 baskets left over. And <clears throat> that is so good because um, instead of despairing when we are in a place, and uh, see the disciples knew they could, didn't have anything to feed that many people, and they was worried about them, they and wanting to shoo them off and tell them to go home. But Jesus said, you feed them. And so that made the disciples uh, have to find where their faith was. Did they really believe Jesus could, that he could do that? Well, this... Uh, now, this story is in uh, Luke, the ninth chapter, if you want to read it yourself. And just remember, regardless of how little uh, that you have, the Lord can bless it and uh, multiply it and strengthen it. And that's for your physical, mental, or emotional, or financially, or whatever. If we, if we go to, really to him, then he can do what we need to have done. And that's what we're trusting him for tonight. We have a number of ne uh, needs uh, that's already come in. Uh, Richard Allen and wife from Clay County, they need prayer. Uh, Cliff Perkins is in the ER in Winchester with uh, diabetes and Crohn's disease. Uh, Melvin from Mount Vernon for his mother, Alma Jean, is having surgery on Wednesday at UK and she listens to this station every night and this one is from London for Effie that's in St. Joe Hospital and needs a healing from the Lord. Here's one from a key uh, to pray for David that was in a ATV accident and is in a very bad shape and uh, wants to, his family wants everyone to pray for him. Another one from London for a son, Chris, who has a serious spinal surgery and can't uh, walk and a lot of pain. And so um, they, they need help. And then also there's a, a lady in Lexington that is uh, having uh, a biopsy tomorrow and need, is depending on the Lord, depending on the Lord to bring her through. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we take the lesson from the loaves and fish, as small as it was, how that you took it and you blessed it and you uh, made the disciples, along with all the people, see how that you can bless and how you can multiply the miracles that you do. And we know that you do miracles in each of our lives every day. Maybe not in this uh, of feeding us, but Lord, you do miracles. You so keep us uh, going, you sustain us, and we praise you for that. And so, Father, tonight for all these that have already asked for prayer, we ask you to uh, meet with them, anoint them, and bless them. And, uh, and then, Lord, for the singers tonight, we want you to uh, anoint them. The phone operators, we thank you, Lord, for people that uh, come and help on the phones that uh, minister to the people. And... Lord, help us tonight to be able to lift up your name successfully. And it's in that name we pray. Amen. All right. Tonight we, uh, we, have, um, uh, we have the Johnson family from Houstonville, Kentucky, to sing for us. And uh, their phone number is 606-879-2041. And then after they sing, well, we have another singer, I believe, for the first time. So right now, let's welcome the Johnson family.
Oh, the day I was saved, I was called to work. For the judgment day, I've got my hands on the plow and my shoulders to the wheel. There's no time for rest. There's a work out in the field. Gotta keep my feet on the straight and narrow and my eyes on the prize. There's a work. Thank you for all of his many blessings. We're a few short tonight. Our drummer, his son, had to be taken to the emergency room tonight, and he didn't get to make it. But God moved, and he's okay, so I thank the Lord for that. I thank the Lord that uh, I got breath in my body tonight to be here. And uh, so we're the Johnson family, and my name is Priscilla. This is my son, Paul, my husband, Melvin, and we're from Houstonville, Kentucky. And we just appreciate the opportunity to be here tonight. My will within me was fading as I struggled onto my knees. Oh Lord, behold my mountain for me. It's much too steep. My
so glad I serve a God that's bigger than all the mountains in my life and he's able to supply my every need. I just love him tonight. I'm just, I just praise him for just what he's doing in our life. You know, my grandson was down this past weekend and he said something that reminded me that, you know, what separates us from the world is just one drop of blood. Just one drop of blood. How precious it is that this blood is still flowing from Calvary tonight for us. I love the Lord tonight. Oh, I have a friend who is so kind and true, one who is faithful and he is dependable too, one who can make a life. He is Jesus, He is Christ, He is our Lord. That was my friend who left all oh, the throne on oh, high. They could find no fault in Him, but they sent time. He's my joy, he's my strength, in him is where all of my hope lies. His name is Jesus, he is Christ, he is our Lord. He is Alpha and Omega, he's the beginning. No, I can't stand, for he is Jesus, he is Christ, he is our Lord. That was my friend who went to the garden and he prayed. That was my friend, that Judas. For silver he betrayed. That was my friend. Oh, that Peter, through fear, he denied. His name is Jesus. He is Christ. He is No, I can't stand, for he is Jesus, he is Christ, he is our Lord. He is Jesus, he is Christ, he is our Lord. We always get requests when people find out we're coming here that my son John sings for us. So um, I thank the Lord for him and thank for what God's doing in his life.
I want to get my daughter up here to sing. glad that you never can get so far down that he can't pick you up. <laughs> Amazing grace will always be my song of praise. For it was grace that bought my liberty. I do not know just how we came to love me so. He looked beyond my faults and saw my need. I shall forever in my eyes to Calvary. To view the cross where Jesus gave his life for me. 
this next song I don't like to name people by names because you just got so many you can make requests to but I would like to send this next song out to um, our church Hope in Jesus Tabernacle in Houstonville all of our church family and not just them but our friends where we work at I work at Centenary in Danville and my husband works at Inner County Energy in Danville and we would like to send this next song out to them She's a big old ship. She's sitting mighty low in the water. She's been on a maiden voyage ever since the day the blood of Calvary bought her. She's a weathered violent storm. Passengers jumped overboard Oh, but she's not just some Titanic She's the church She ain't going down Sail on Old ship of Zion Rainwater in the cold dark night Sail on Oh ship of Zion Till you see That beacon light Oh sail on Oh ship of Zion He's on board you're not alone. Sail on till you hear the captain say he lands inside. You've made it home. Oh, the ship was launched from a hill outside Jerusalem. Caught a brand new gust of wind. When it breezed through the upper room, rolled out the storm with the jail cell song at midnight. What makes you think she's gonna sing for some modern day typhoon? Sail on, old ship of Zion, the rave water lurks in the cold dark. Oh, sail on, oh, ship of Zion, till you see that beacon light. Oh, sail on, oh, ship of Zion, he's on. Sail 
glad I, I'm glad I serve a God who, who doesn't go under. You know, we, in this world today, they'll trust their self and they'll put their trust in a bottle or a, a pill or some kind of form of this world has made, but I've learned without Jesus, I'm nothing. And, and, you know, if I was to go to somebody else's house that I did not know, I don't just walk in the door, I knock before I enter. But when I go home, I just walk through the door because it's my home. And Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock, and anyone that would open up, I'll come in and sup with. And if Jesus is knocking on your heart tonight, that means he's a stranger unto you, and if you'll open up, he'll make your heart a home for him. Well, I'm so glad I crossed over the line. I'm so glad that I crossed over the line. That line that separates the darkness from the light. I'm so glad I crossed over in time. Well, I'm so glad that I crossed over the line. I'm so glad. Crossed over the line, that line that separates the darkness from the light. I'm so glad I crossed over in time. While I was traveling along the back road, I was heading in the wrong direction. Satan truly had my soul locked and bound, but through God's love and mercy, His grace turned me around. I'm so glad I crossed over in time. Well, I'm so glad that I crossed over the line. I'm so glad that I crossed over the line. That line that separates the darkness from the light. I'm so glad I crossed over in time. Well, I was heading in the wrong direction. My sin was as dark as night. Satan was standing between my soul and the light. But Jesus gave me a light to shine when he saved this soul of mine. And I'm so glad I crossed over in time. Well, I'm so glad I crossed over the line. I'm so glad that I crossed over the line. Oh, that line. That separates the darkness from the light. I'm so glad I crossed over in time. Well, I'm so glad that I crossed over the line. I'm so glad that I crossed over the line. That line that separates the darkness from the light. I'm so glad I crossed over in time. so glad I crossed over in time. Um, I'd like to say that our church is sponsoring an old-fashioned Holy Ghost tent revival on 127 out right outside of Houstonville. And uh, it's from July the 29th to July, June the 29th to July the 5th. And just tell anybody, if you ain't got no place to go, it'd be a good place to service is nightly at 7 o'clock. And um, I just love the Lord, and I want to be found doing something for Him. I don't want to be slack. I don't want to be standing idle in the marketplace when He comes back. I want to be on fire for Him. I heard a preacher say it like this one time. He said, when He comes back after His people, He's coming back for the same thing He left on the day of Pentecost, and that was a church that was on fire. And I just want to be on fire and doing something for Him. Hasn't been a bed of roses since I started on my way. Lord, you know I'm not complaining. There's just something I should say. the 
don't know the Lord tonight, tonight will be a good night to know him. He's been everything to me and he can be everything to you. He'll supply every need that you ever have. There's no use in trying to hide it from your eyes. There's no need in wearing a disguise. For you see there's a lot of fear I see, but I'm trying to be as honest as I can. And I'll go down seven times in a tree I'll even climb. I'll even tear the roof off just to get to I've always lived a life of just pretend A plastic heart with no peace within But as I step out of the dark And Lord, I open up my heart And reveal all my secrets 
hypocrites in sin and I'll go down seven times and a tree I'll even climb I'll even tear the roof off just to get to Tonight, you've been listening to the Johnson family from Houstonville, Kentucky. Uh, they have a phone number, 606-879-2041. And uh, they're uh, from the Hope in Jesus Tabernacle from Houstonville. All right, that's the first uh, uh, singing we've had. And I said we at the beginning, we are blessed tonight to have more singing. And so we want to... Uh, introduce our next guest uh, right now and this is her first time here and she has a couple of CDs to show you uh, well I'll show you and she'll sell them to you okay <laughs> I think that better be the way it goes all right we're happy to have Denise Beatty from Nicholasville Kentucky and she's from the Edgewood Baptist Church in Nicholasville and Reading on her CD, this uh, CD contains all the songs written by uh, by Denise, and uh, the other one has uh, 11 good songs on it also. So if you'd like to get in touch with her, uh, jot down this number, 859-537-5397. So for the very first time, here's Denise Beatty. Oh 
Thank you, and God bless you. It's wonderful to be here tonight and to meet the Johnson family, and they truly bless my heart tonight, and Sister Margaret. And uh, I just feel like even though it's my first time being here, I feel like I'm a And this is a wonderful place to be tonight in the Lord. My next song is called I Talk to Jesus. We don't have to have a fancy prayer when we talk to him. I talk to him like I would one of my children or my husband because I know he's there and he's, he's always listened to me as long as I can remember. But all we have to do is talk with Jesus, have a little talk with him. little granddaughter usually sings that with me she's six years old her name is Miley and she's in Florida right now visiting her cousins but I wanted to do a shout out to my grandchildren they're supposed to be watching online tonight in Florida and I love them all they're great grandkids I'll tell you they're wonderful children and they the Lord that Jesus is real. He started from humble beginning and he came to save souls for the winning. But his life of his was marked from the start. But God saw the big picture, this baby Jesus, our eternal future. Jesus is real. You can. Jesus. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, we're going to kick off this year um, at Edgewood Baptist Church in Nicholasville on um, July 12th. We're having a um, uh, Feed the 5,000. And when I heard Sister Margaret say that, I said, praise the Lord. I know that he sent me here tonight to talk, to talk about feeding the 5,000 for the holidays. And we're uh, doing uh, a big concert. It's free. It's free. But you just bring uh, canned peas, corn, and green beans to, for admission. And you get to hear uh, myself and uh, Risen. They're from London, Kentucky. And Peggy Inks, she's from London, Kentucky. And Denise Dittman from Hamilton, Ohio. And we'll be pr uh, doing a concert to f help feed the 5,000 for the holidays. And then on October the 11th, we'll be doing another one with Jason Crabb at Bethel Harvest Church in um, on, Jess, on US 127, which is near Lexington, but it's in Nicholasville, Kentucky, um, at 7 p.m. Uh, both concerts start at 7 p.m. The doors open at 6, both concerts. But Jason will be there with his uh, friend, uh, Ashley DeRamus, she is a, a little girl with Down syndrome, and she um, has a foundation, and Jason works with her, and uh, she was on his CMT video, Love is Stronger, and he's on his Love is Stronger tour right now. So we'll be doing, uh, that will wrap up or feed the 5,000. But I hope you all can make it. It's going to be really a good time in the Lord. And uh, this next song... Um, was um, just come into my heart, and it makes me think of my aunt. She's just such a sweet person. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> From a soldier friend today When she finished reading it She tucked it away She put it in her Bible On her nightstand She said it's to remind her That it's all in God's hand it's in God's hands, it's in God's hands, keeping things in the Bible. 
nurse for about 25 years and I worked in the cancer unit and the cancer patients taught me how to live my life they are truly remarkable people um, I just praise the Lord for the opportunity to help them I still do relay for life and I still am a big sponsor of that and that's one of the causes I still do but this next song is called watch your heart condition you know we think about you know having chest pains and having heart problems but people don't realize when their heart isn't right with God that that's the biggest heart problem you can have in this life amen and when I go in a room and I assess patients I think well what's their heart condition so I wrote this song from my nursing experience <laughs> Go to church on Sunday and sit in a pew. On Monday you can do good deeds the whole day through. But the real part of living a Jesus-filled heart is giving it to Jesus so you'll never It's not just about religion, it'll be the right decision. You'll be able to see God's vision. For your life, it'll set you free. For all eternity, watch your heart. Condition. We worry more about our life insurance than we do our heart insurance, don't we? It's true. Heart insurance. Jesus is waiting just for you, my friend, today. He never gives up on us. He's here to stay. So why? Are you waiting for? Just let Jesus open your heart door. So watch your heart condition. It's not 
charges about religion It'll be the right decision You'll be able to see God's vision For your life it'll set you free For all eternity Watch your heart condition Watch your heart condition It's not just about religion right decision you'll be able to see God's vision for your life it'll set you free for all eternity watch your heart condition yeah that patient down in that room let's call 911 code blue you never know when you're going to leave this world, so you better make your heart right with Jesus. That's all that matters in the end. God bless you. And that's the truth. I know I worked with a lot of life and death, and uh, I am thankful that uh, I was able to help people in that way, too. My work wasn't just going to work, and it wasn't about money. Money isn't everything, you know. We, it can't buy happiness, true happiness. It does help, you know, when we need it. And God does provide, doesn't he? And he, uh, he'll see us through anything, storm, anything we're going through in life. If we just trust him and give it all to him, that's all that matters in this life. Uh, I'm so thrilled to be able to work with Mr. Gerald Crabb. He has given me a chance in a lifetime. Uh, he and Elisa Asbury with A&G Entertainment. They have helped me to um, become, um, uh, well, I'm in their artist development program right now, and then there's bigger things coming. But I am so thrilled to be writing, co-writing a new CD with Gerald and uh, be able to sing with Jason. So I'm praising the Lord tonight for that. But I just want it to reach others. I'm not concerned about what it will do for me, but what it will do to reach others. And I know Jesus has the biggest plan in life, and he'll get us through it. But this next song is called, When God Brings You To It, He'll See You Through It. Never for say. When God brings you to it, He'll see you through it. Look up, look down, and look all around. When God brings you to it, He'll see you through it. Yes, He will. I never dreamed He'd put me in the position I'm in today able to do what I'm doing. Praise his name.
up Look down and look all around When God brings you to it, He'll see you through it Amen I said the Lord touched my heart so much I almost forgot my lyrics But I love Him so much And He has been so good to me throughout my life And uh, that young man was talking about drugs and alcohol there's no place in this in my life for those either. But I grew up in a home where my father was addicted, and I know what it's like to be on that side. And that's why I tell people there's more to life than pills and alcohol. Uh, you don't have to live that kind of life. There's all kinds of help out there, and God wants you to get help, and you can give it all to him, and he will see you through it. I promise he will. He did see my dad through it, and I know he's in heaven right now. Praise the Lord. This is a bluegrassy song I wrote. Rise above it. feel like throwing my high heels off, but I better keep them on. <laughs> when in life you're tested and pushed around, and oh, Satan tries to tell you to stand your ground. Just remember that the Savior is standing by your side. And he'll be there to lift you up and be your It's one of them songs that you can just sing and, and dance in the rain for the Lord. That's what it makes me think of. But uh, I would love to come and sing at anybody's church. Uh, I don't charge. Um, I do have uh, the songs that I'm singing tonight are on my CD that I wrote, the ten, uh, my first CD that I wrote 10 songs um, on. And uh, I take donations for them. Uh, and then... If somebody wanted to give me a love offering for coming for gas or whatever, and, and it put the Lord put it on their heart, that's what I do, and that's how I roll. <laughs> but I'd love to come, and you can call me at this number, 859-537-5397, and I would love to come to your, your event, uh, relay. Uh, I do uh, church and uh, also do speaking uh, in you know in women's uh with uh, four women's groups but i would love to and i would be honored to come to sing uh to your uh, congregation uh or at your uh, homecoming or anything at your church and so just give me a call and i'll be there Oh, 
Wait to see him. Amen. All right. Thank you, Denise thank Beatty you. from Nicholasville, Kentucky. She does have a couple of CDs here. You may call her at 859-537-5397 and uh, talk to her about them and uh, about her singing schedule. All right. We've uh, we have. Uh, Someone here to help with the phone, uh, the phones. He's been on the phones. We pulled him away from the phones, as he's no stranger to you, Brother Roy McIntosh. And so, how are you tonight? Doing good. We uh, we've had a lot of phone calls, uh, but yeah, Ben Dottie's talking up there about uh, cancer. Oh, yeah. You know, I said I hate that word cancer with the worst anything in the world, and it, it's going around just like a wildfire. You know, and, but you know, we know somebody can can control it. It is. His name is Jesus, and, but I've been doing good. I've just been uh, uh, working around the house and trying to trying to make the best I can out of this heat. And, oh yeah! But uh, it's going to get a little hotter, I'm thinking. Yeah. So, but still, it ain't like it ain't like it's going to be for some people if they don't get right with the Lord. Amen. That's, and right. that's the bottom line: is to be saved and give your heart to Jesus. Amen. And, but I, I love WLJC, and I watch it when I when I can. And uh, I was down in Florida back in the winter and. And we went over to this guy's house. I said, you got the internet? He said, sure. I said, let's go, to, let's go to WLJC on there. He said, okay. So we got it live that night. We got to watch it. Then I said, now you can watch reruns in it too if you want to. You know. And he said, well, I didn't know you could do that. And I said, well, just keep watching. You might see me on there one day. <laughs> he said, well, I will. And, you know, but these folks all over the world that watches this. I've seen, I meet a lot of folks out there when I'm out, out and about. And I was up in London to see Sunday. Yesterday, and uh, I met this one guy, and he said, I see you on WLJC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was over at the flea market. We went over to, the, to uh, Walmart, and I told my daughter, I said, This is the first time I've been to London Walmart. I didn't meet somebody I know. Oh, <laughs> but it's great to be here. It's good to be a part of the family of God. Amen. Yeah. It's, part it's good to be that. All right. It's good to have you back. And so you've been doing missionary work. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. telling others about. How to hear about the Lord. All right, we do have uh, a number of calls in here. Uh, Penny from Lewis County has cancer. The, the Gibson family from Richmond needs prayer. Yes. And Chris, uh, 
uh, young man that we know has uh, a place on his tongue that's going to be removed, and he wants prayer that it will not be cancer. Praise God. And that's what we'll believe for. The Power family from Menifee County, Martha from Lee, for Crystal, Zeke, Sylvia, and Jean Ann. And uh, also here's a, a lost family. Sister Sandy called in for that. Laurel County, uh, someone, brother, brother-in-law that has cancer and is in the hospital right now. Oh, my Lord. And here's a um, grandmother has called for a granddaughter that's in the Navy and wants prayer yeah. for her. Uh, from Wayne County, someone with arthritis and on and on it goes. And Brother Roy, you know how, how it is with the request and yes. how, many, how many people, uh, the different things that are needed. So if, uh, if you will, well, I'd like for you to know what those and uh, well, here's these others that came through the... This, uh, this lady, <clears throat> they called about that lady uh, being in the Navy. Mm -hmm. uh, she said they're sitting over there right now in the water. Three ships sitting right beside, beside, just waiting for the word to shoot. So let's be in prayer for that tonight, that that don't happen. Because we could get into a lot of trouble. Yes. Get into another war here. But she said, we, she said, I'm really worried about my daughter. And she said, she's on that ship. So let's, uh, let's be in prayer for them folks. And, yes. and pray for that country over there that, they, that they'll come to recognize and realize what's going on and, yes. and turn their hearts over to the Lord. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, as, as we lift up these precious souls to you tonight, Lord, we've read each one of them or heard about them, and we know that you have, Lord. You know each name and every one that's there. Yes. You know every need that they have and everything. And, Lord, we ask you tonight to bless this, this precious soul of our own that ship and all them other souls that's with her. Lord, that this thing won't happen, Lord. There won't be no conflict come in that country, Lord, of killing. Lord, we know, God, you have all power, and you can rule all things. And we'll never fail to praise you. Yes. We'll never fail to honor and give you all the praise. Yes. Touch these precious souls. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, so now we've, uh, we have prayed. We've uh, asked the Lord. Now we, uh, so we are, can expect some changes, can't we? Amen. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's what it's about. Because that, when we ask, that's in faith. And so yeah. that's all we can do. You know, we can't fix much in this world, can we? No. Uh, he says we have not because we ask not. Yes. And we need to ask in prayer. Mm -hmm. And we can get it. I mean, I know uh, some prayers have been answered for me here in the last two months it's, that I didn't think would ever happen. But God, mm -hmm. God is on the scene. Amen. And yes. even though he, his, his arm is not too short that he can't reach out and touch. I prayed for my son the other day and, and he got into it with a tree and almost got, he would have got killed if he'd have climbed it. And, mm -hmm. But he said something kept him from it. And he said, Rick, I don't know what happened, Dad. I said, I do. Mm -hmm. I said, Dad was praying for you, son. Mm -hmm. I said, I asked God to watch over and protect you, and, and he did. And, and I thank God for that because, children, we never know when we're going to leave here. No. But one thing about it, be ready to go. Be ready. Get ready to go because he may call you tonight. He may call you out of here tonight. You never know. Mm -hmm. But if you have, if you got peace, peace in mind and, and your heart's right, you, you, ain't got, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, I, I go to bed every night and I say, Lord, if I've done something that's not right, I ask your forgiveness. Because, he, you know, I always thought like this. If you're not able to carry the cross, then you ain't going to make it in the kingdom of heaven. So I, I carry the cross every day. Yeah, I carry it. Because I, I, need, I need it. Mm -hmm. I need this. Yes. Because, you know, like I was telling a boy a while ago, I, I was preaching to a guy about the house a while ago. I said, we all take God for granted. We take for granted it's going to come daylight in the morning or it's going to be lunch tomorrow. But I said, one of these days it ain't going to be that. So we should never take God for granted. We should always be expecting. Mm -hmm. Brother Earl Seal says, if he don't come tonight, I'm looking for him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But people need to get their hearts right. Yes. Yes. All right. That's so true. And um, so we, we appreciate... Uh, the fact that the Lord does hear and answer prayer. Yes. And uh, we want to continue to pray for Edith and Rick Alexandra. They, uh, they're still in need of prayer. Read He's. Read your name in. Uh, Read your name in again. Uh, Richard family. Allen and family. And um, uh, the others that we have mentioned already. But um, 
Edith and Rick, uh, Rick's battling cancer right now, and so uh, they still need prayer. And we know that, uh, and they know that the Lord answers. And, yes. And you know, our job is to ask Him and believe Him. Yeah. And then He answers according Amen. to His wisdom and what He knows yes, with eternity in mind. And you know, But you know, only he knows why he doesn't. Yes. But uh, you know, I was, I was sitting at the house the other, the other evening watching WWC, and he, he all went off, and and all at once he come on my mind, and I'm going to say this to him tonight, is Brother Richard Hamilton. He come on my mind real strong, and then and I, I said, Lord, I, I don't know what it's about, but I'm going to pray, yeah. and I prayed, and I, and I said, I hope and pray there ain't nothing wrong. If, not, if they are, I ask you, God, to intervene in it and take care of it. But I want to say howdy to him tonight. Mm -hmm. Say a big hello to him. I, I love that guy. Mm -hmm. Give him his real great people. Yes. And I just pray to God that his hair gets better what it is. Because <laughs> the last time he was here, it was sticking straight up. And I, he's going to have to get something to lay that down. <laughs> no, he's something wrong. He, we got to get some, bar, get some bar grease for him. <laughs> but I love you, Brother Richard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, him. yes, uh, Richard and Joyce have been a great people. help uh, to the ministry and been so faithful for mm -hmm. so long. And uh, they drive a long way to come yeah, and help. It's been and, a long way up there. Yeah, so so they have, a, Richard and is a good to tease with. He, oh, yes. Uh, he takes jokes as well as handing them out. He said, so. well, watch me preach at that. He said, he's going to sit down right in the middle of the floor, open that Bible, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> well... I just shouldn't look at you as anybody else. <laughs> but he's a, he's a, I love him. Yeah, they're good people. So uh, that's what makes up the world is uh, in the body of Christ, you know. Yes, it is. And each family, everyone's different. And then also in the, all of God's children are different. But except for the one thing, we, we all love, we all love the Lord. Amen. Well, uh, it looks like that our time is getting short and uh, we need to... Uh, uh, once again, thank the Johnson family from Houstonville for being here and also Denise Beatty from Nicholasville. Uh, both these uh, singers have come from a long uh, way and yes. we appreciate mm -hmm. it. And so pray for a safe trip for them to, as they go home. Amen. And uh, uh, we understand that Brother Wade Hughes and his church, as they was going home the other night, came upon a bad accident and... Uh, they, uh, well, one man lost his life, but oh my God. so his the church, the brother Wade in his church was able to stop and pray with the, with the folk and be with them till. Well, that's good. Uh, yes, and uh, but you know, like you said, uh, Roy, you don't know when you no. get on the on the road. There's so many that's uh, just out of their mind by the stuff they have in their system that yes. uh, they don't see you. They don't even see you. The Amen. car is coming. And uh, so we need to need to be prayed up, need for the Lord's mercy. All right, uh, we're going to uh, say good night from all of us here, and God bless you. WLJC programs, including the live WLJC chapel service, are brought to you through your contributions of support to Hour of Harvest Incorporated. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deductions. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed of what's happening at WLJC, along with our monthly guest list, Give us a call at 606-464-3600 or write to us, WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Or if you would like to join our email list, log on to www.wljc.com and sign up today. It's so easy and it's free. sufferings untold each one longing for Jesus despairing heart silent cry empty of pride and self now on him to rely Ring in the harvest tell of his mercy and
precious neighbor or friend or that dear special loved one eternal life to begin there is calvary's promise none are ever turned away oh go will you go tell them go tell WLJC programs, including the live WLJC chapel service, 